What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Pizza Maker Eight Thousand back with another Toontown video. Now today we're gonna be discussing why the hell does Toontown rewritten host Toonfest? Dobby, go ahead and take it. Go ahead and start, man. Take off. They put too much time into getting a Toonfest set up when they can be putting that into the game. It's like they spend the whole year setting up for a Toonfest when they can be setting up some content. The point of having a tune fest if you don't have new content like what are you there showing you just guys just sitting there and talking about oh the first week of rewritten and shit like oh yeah during, after the third year we added doodles like bro what would be the reason to go to a tune fest if there's no new content to be spoke about and if you guys have talked about field offices for more than one year and not shown it why would i as a consumer want to come to your tune fest if you have promised stuff there and not delivered it and then on multiple occasions what would be the benefit of me going to your tune fest and that's what they need to look at it as. What I don't understand is like, what 40 year old man or woman is going to these Toon Fests to see what? Whenever you went to the one from Disney, when they put their first one out in 2006, you went because you see, oh, you know, next year or the year after that, we're coming out with Lawbot HQ. They're showing off the Lawbot, the CJ. Then the year after that, oh yeah, we're showing Boss Spot, this and that. What the fuck are you gonna go and learn from going to a Toon Fest for Toon Town Rear? What are they gonna say? Oh, we're putting this in the game. It doesn't end up fucking happening. What, what the fuck were people still I mean, going to this shit for? I'm pretty sure they put the field offices for the past, like, two or three. And now, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what they did. But, yeah, like, you know, I don't even know why you would go to that to begin with. I don't know. Maybe some people like that. I don't know. I don't know. They got to they gotta focus on something different. You know, that, that's not that's not doing anything for them. And I seen I seen a post, and they were like, "Yeah, we canceled Toon Fest for 2020 because of coronavirus." Everybody knows the fuck coronavirus is, and they said they canceled Toon Fest because of it. So if you are canceling coronavirus and you don't have to worry about Toon Fest this year, where the fuck is the content? Where are these field offices that we've been begged and begging for for the past four or five years? Where's all this new stuff that we've been promised that we have not yet to receive within the game? You guys adding quality of life updates to. Just add, you can see people's prestige gags. Nobody gives a fuck about that shit, man. Put some new content in the motherfucking game. Well, let's just face it. They don't care about the, they don't care about the bands. This is what it is. They don't, man. And another that brings me on to another point. Boomer, you can add on to this because you have a little bit more knowledge of me on this. That about them getting those files from somebody else and not doing nothing with them shits. If you really cared about the Toontown game and keeping it alive... Why would you guys not either A, implement them into your game, or B, put them into another server, let another server use the files? So there's a, there's like, what, over 100, Boomer? Like, you could use, everybody else could have used, not even all of them, you could have gave 25 to this server and kept the 75 for yourself, and, you know, it could have been just like that. Decent amount. I, I mean, I don't know if there's 100, but, you know, I, I can see kind of where they're coming from to a certain extent with the whole legal issues, but... You know, again, I'm not sure if I'm 100% on this, but I'm pretty sure that they have, like, the go on they can share the content. At least some of it. At least some of it. Taking the ones that they can share and share. You know, why wouldn't you, you know? Because they don't want another server to get above them. And it's not what's doing best for the community. They're doing what's best for them as a server. They're doing what's best for Toontown Rewritten. Even though they don't update, they don't, they don't deserve the fans that they have because they don't put out new content after years and years. And people are still playing... A fucking 2003 game. Bitch, it is 2020. Why are you playing a 17-year-old game on the fucking regular and you're okay with not having new updates within the game? And I think, like, if you, you know, it's one thing if you don't want to, um, you know, really update the game as far as graphics-wise. You know, you want to keep it traditional. That's one thing. But you're not going to add anything on top of that. that. That's a different story. Like, you can add so many little things, but if you don't have the big things to back it up, if they don't mean anything. The quality of life updates don't mean nothing if you don't put out content with it. What's the point oh, yeah, of opening... Like, what was the point of opening Toontown Rewritten just to keep the same game of Toontown Online? Because everybody had the same problem on Toontown Online saying, oh, there's no new content for years and years and years. Toontown Rewritten opens up and it's the same problem, but now people are acting like, oh, they don't they have nostalgia. They don't remember what the fuck they said when Toontown Online didn't update. Like People are saying, oh, the nostalgia of the game. Nobody gives a fuck about nostalgia, but it, it is 2020. So, the Toon Fest thing, man. So, I, I still don't understand why people are still defending them, even to this day. It, it just don't make no sense now. So, they're pretty much they're pretty much doing this Toon Fest for people that don't even really play the game. I, I don't understand that, man. Like, 
they really need to update their game and do some other stuff. You know, add some content or something. Like, it, 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 I'm not I'm not even going to play it anymore, honestly. I've made my decision. I'm not even going to play it anymore. Not that they start updating it. And it is what it is. I heard that. Yeah, and, 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 and even if you want to argue, like, the nostalgia aspect, you can still have nostalgia with updates. You know, exactly. The, the what, stuff that was old is still going to be there. There's just going to be more. I, what, I don't see the problem with that. What if Toontown Online would have updated? You guys wouldn't play anymore because of nostalgia? Like, what's the, the whole point? They should have, Toontown Ranch should have opened the game and done what Toontown, I mean, what Disney planned on doing, which was adding more content. They should have added all the, what were those files you were telling me about, Boomer, about the about the Doodle? Even something so far as the Doodle, the Doodle was not fully functional by the time it came out, like, the mechanics for it were supposed to be greater than what it really was. Yeah, the doodle was supposed to be something different. I guess it was supposed to be a little bit more. Uh, I heard something about hatching the egg. You know, you get a doodle, and you got to, like, take care of the egg. There's no there's no uh, information on how long you would have to take care of it, but there was something with that, and then you get the doodle. And then it had its own house, right? Yeah, I think that... I think that you could have bought that. Again, I'm not sure. You know, I just learned this information today as well. So so the fucking but, doodle uh, wasn't yeah. just fucking and smelling your feet all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were able to, I guess I guess you're meant to bring him to the playground with you. Yeah. But you couldn't bring him on streets, which I guess is something more than just the house. Because, I mean, what do you go to your she house for? To buy clothes? Like once a week, maybe? Not even. Yeah. Even that. Um, you know. I mean, if TTR came out and was like, yeah, Doodles took this long to come because they added all this shit, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, we got you, bro. And that's the thing, man. Like, if you guys if you guys want to, like, have a Toon Fest, that's fine. But what is the point of having a Toon Fest if you're not putting out new content? Like, what's the... Oh. Is that motherfucker not dead? Wow. He's not, bro. What's the... Just lame, bro. Just no sense involved at all. That's all I said. It is what it is. They don't care about the fans. Just like I already said. No, rewritten does not care about the fans. I don't care what nobody tells me. No one can convince me otherwise. They don't. I mean, even if you cut out all that stuff, right? You cut out all the why would they go? We got to talk about, you know, the money aspect. You know, they say it's a, you know, free to play game, no currency needed, wanted, all that stuff. But why are they paying for, you know, a tune fest when they could be paying for, you know, whatever they need to pay for to get content? And to Something do a like Toon Fest you know, every year. And that's probably coming out of their pockets, right? I'd imagine, who else's pockets would have come out of? We don't pay for membership, so I don't know who else. It makes me sick because games like this just get slept on. Nobody gives a fuck about Corporate Clash. Everybody would rather, oh, Toon Time Written is better, bro. Like, I just don't understand why this game does not get the credit it deserves. Yep, and, and it's, it's, it's such a small community now. So small, bro. Oh, yeah. And but, the, you know, the thing is, though, it's a nice community, though. Like, compared to, <laughs> like... I agree. Ball effect with the with the servers. It's like you know, like when one person says they don't want to play, another person can say, oh, they want to play because there's no members. But you're adding to you the know. problem. You're part of the problem. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Part- and then some people that are like, oh, I already got my tune on tune on written. They don't want to start over. All that stuff, man. Like. But what's the fun in that? Like, you being maxed in every suit. What's the fun in that? You can just do a VP whenever you want. What are you gonna do? Twelve VPs a day? Like, where's the fun exactly. in that? I don't get it. It's lame. Dude, the whole grind is gone. You just get on and, like, what are you doing? Like, you don't want to start over and try out. And you can say, oh, I don't like the new Zap gag. Don't fucking get it. Don't get it. There's plenty of other stuff in this game that's implemented to make it a better server. Yeah, even you know, I get it. Even you stuff are. with the whole fucking, the Zap gag. I mean, the prestiging of the gags. Like, bro, it's like a whole new feel for the game. Like, this is what Toon Time Rent should have done. Added new stuff to the game. Even if something so little as taking out the planting and adding a whole new system to make the game function. You can't sit here and uh, sound through the entire game on this game because the cogs are harder, everything is like weaker, like it makes the game more challenging. I'm not telling nobody, oh yeah, they're not allowed to have a Toon Fest, don't go to the Toon Fest. Go to the Toon Fest all you want, you know, go and fucking pet a, uh, a blow up flunky all you want, man. Do what you want, but to me, as a consumer, what makes me want to go to a Toon Fest if you're not showing off new content and the content that you did show off in previous years never got brought into the game. You could have an excuse saying, oh, you know, the developer for this and that, whatever happened to him. If you talk about something at a Toon Fest, people are paying, flying out to one place as a convention, and you show off something, bro, you can't do that as a company. You think if Apple went and showed off, oh, yeah, new iPhone 27 coming out, this and that, and then it doesn't end up dropping, everybody's going to be furious. But it's like people make excuses for this team, and they just act like oblivious and blind to the problems within this game, man. 
I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to keep rambling, man. That's all I got to say. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy, Pizza Maker 8000. I'm out.